What's up folks, Phil Meyer here. This is a video walkthrough for the quest The Gargoyle Contract in The Witcher 2. The Gargoyle Contract is a chapter 3 quest that can be picked up from the notice board in Loch Muin. There are subtle differences in the quest depending on whether you've sided with Roche or Yorveth, and I'll cover them both. The quest requires Geralt to find and destroy gargoyles that are plaguing the city. After picking up the quest, you can speak to Braza Bonard nearby for a little more detail. The next step is to learn more about gargoyles. You can do this by buying a book from Felicia Corey. She's located near the center of the Loch Muin main square. Read the book and you'll learn that to permanently destroy gargoyles, you must destroy the magic runes that power them. Felicia Corey also sells four books that explains more about the runes of power. If you'd like, you can buy these as well, but we'll examine the contents of the books later in the video. This quest involves fighting groups of gargoyles, which can be challenging as they will gang up on you. There is an optional task we can perform to better prepare for this. The silver sword called Deathwane is powerful and particularly strong against gargoyles. If you don't have this sword already, I recommend getting it if you're able to. It can be located outside of Loch Muin, just to the east. Note that once inside the city, the only way to leave is through the main entrance gate. I'll talk about reaching this gate in the next section of the video. However, if you're playing through Yorvitz's path and you snuck into the city, the gate will be locked and you won't be able to leave, meaning you won't be able to pick up the Deathwing sword once inside the city. The sword is guarded by two Arakas, which will ambush you in close quarters. For that reason, I recommend preparing before battling them. Arakas are susceptible to extra damage from a silver sword coated in insectoid oil. I recommend crafting one of these and applying it to your silver sword before the fight. If you don't have the crafting recipe, you can buy it from Felicia Cory. You may also want to drink some potions as well. Both the Rook and Swallow potions are helpful for combat. The area that the Arakas attack you in is narrow and hard to maneuver, so I recommend getting to the clearing at the end of the pathway to properly engage them. Since there are two of them, it will be hard to avoid getting hit, and for that reason I recommend keeping your Quen shield up to help take the damage instead. You will need to attack the Arakas from behind to do meaningful damage, which is challenging in the small space. Using the Ard or Irden signs to briefly stun them can help with that. Once you've defeated the two Arakas, search the nearby skeleton to find the Deathweight Sword and equip it. Alright, let's talk about getting around the city and finding the three gargoyle sites. The city of Loch Muin is a bit of a maze, so I'll do my best to explain how to reach each of these sites. The northeastern and southeastern gargoyle sites can be reached from the city's main gate. From the market square, there are two routes you can take to reach the main gate. The first route starts through the doorway on the east side of the market. Navigate through the buildings and the guard camp. Note that if you're playing Jorvitz's path, the guards are hostile and will attack you on site, meaning this route is only an option if you've sided with Roche. The second route to the main gate is to take the scenic path along the northern side of the city. Again, from the center market square, head out towards the northeast and navigate through the city ruins. Note that this route will actually take you right by the northeastern gargoyle site. Once you're at the city gate, looking west, you can use the southern and northern doors to reach the southeastern and northeastern gargoyle locations. To reach the northwestern gargoyle site, follow a route that starts by heading southwest from the city's market square. Before heading into each area, I again recommend using potions such as Rook or Swallow for a little extra boost before battle. The gargoyles will attack you as a group at each of the sites. 
What worked well for me was to keep a quen shield up to avoid taking damage. I kept moving and taking opportunistic attacks from the rear and the flanks. The yard sign can also help to briefly stun a gargoyle, leaving them vulnerable to heavy strikes. Once you've taken out the gargoyles in an area, search for the entrance to that area's underground room and head inside. Note that inside one of the rooms is a golem. For the golem confrontation, keep some space between Geralt and the creature. The golem tends to do a charge attack where it will run across the room. Dodge out of the way, then circle back and attack the golem with your silver sword from behind. Back away when the golem recovers, then repeat until it's down for the count. Now we can tackle solving the puzzles in these underground rooms. Each room contains four glowing runes and a text with a cryptic poem. The poem is intended to give you a hint for the order in which Geralt will need to extinguish the runes. If you've bought the books about the runes of power, you can read through them now to learn what each symbol is meant to represent. Even though there are many different runes described in the books, each of the three rooms only has the same four runes. You're meant to relate the poem to these four runes, which will reveal the order in which the runes must be extinguished. There are actually two different poem variations per room, and they are randomly selected on your playthrough. With the three rooms to deal with, this makes for a total of six different puzzles. Once you've figured out the order for a room, extinguish the rooms. Don't forget to search each room for items before leaving. After you've dealt with the gargoyles and the puzzles at each of the three locations, you can return to Brazabanard for the quest reward. Thanks everyone for watching the video. If it helped you and you think it might help someone else, please consider hitting that like button on your way out. I'd really appreciate it. Take care everyone.